Thousands of protesters are in Moscow this morning. They're angry over what they say were fraudulent elections. It's likely to be the biggest public show of discontent in Russia since the fall of the Soviet Union. CBS News correspondent Charlie Daggett is following developments from our London Bureau. Good morning, Charlie. What's the latest there? Good morning to you, Betty. Well, we've seen some clashes in St. Petersburg, riot police dragging away protesters. Uh, we spoke to our colleague in Moscow, says the demonstrations there have so far been peaceful, but they're growing in number and in anger. It's a sight Russia hasn't seen for 20 years, a mass anti-government demonstration that's been allowed to go ahead. More than 10,000 people packed Moscow's streets near the Kremlin, with more arriving by the minute. Opposition parties say 30,000 people will take part in protests in Moscow alone, and thousands more in 70 cities across the country. Everyone is sick of living under this regime, which forbids freedom of expression, says this demonstrator. We're against the lies and the bankrupt politicians. The protesters are aiming their fury primarily primarily at Prime Minister Vladimir Putin over charges he and his party rigged elections last weekend. Putin has aimed his anger at Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Elections that are neither free nor fair have the same Accusing effect. her of spurring on protests by questioning the results of the vote. He said the first thing the Secretary of State did was give her opinion about elections, saying they were unfair and unjust, even before she got results from international monitors. Those international monitors have already pointed to ballot stuffing in the parliamentary elections. Russian security forces quickly put an end to spontaneous protests earlier this week. Today's planned demonstrations may be the biggest test of Putin's 12-year reign of power in Russia. And the big question is, how far will he allow them to go? Now, there have been some comparisons between the Arab Spring and now the Russian winter, but those uprisings took hold after days of protests. That's not something Prime Minister Putin and his security forces are likely to tolerate. Betty? No doubt. All right. Charlie Daggett in London for us. Thank you, Charlie.